Ensuring that your poodle is on a well-balanced diet is one of the most important elements to keeping your canine family member healthy, both now and into the future. Before you even bring your poodle home, it is very important to discuss with the breeder exactly which brand of food they have been feeding to your poodle. A fast change in food can cause upset stomach and digestive problems. Before I move on with the video, I want to ask you a simple question. Do you want to train your dog for any basic commands like sit and stay? Do you want to stop any of the behavioral problems of your dog like pooping inside the house, biting, jumping, or barking? If your answer is yes, please grab the free dog training secrets guide in which I have disclosed the deepest dog training secrets that professional dog trainers don't want you to know about. These training secrets would help you have a well-behaved, super intelligent, smart and obedient dog without spending hours in training him or her. This secret training technique ebook is available for free only for a limited time. So go and grab it before it's too late. Link to the free ebook and training videos is in the description below. Breeders and shelters are buying food in bulk and have to feed many dogs which is a factor in which brand they choose so there is a good chance that you will want to offer your poodle something different. How often to feed a poodle? Under 3 months. While your goal will be to have your poodle on a feeding schedule, very young puppies under the age of 3 months do best when free fed. Though you will be leaving food out at all times, it is important that the food is fresh. Do not just top it off throughout the day. Rinse and clean the bowl as necessary so that old food is not stuck at the bottom of the dish. Puppy. Starting at just about the three-month mark, poodles of all varieties should be eating three meals per day, plus snacks. Adult. When a pup matures into an adult, this does not necessarily mean that they should suddenly be given only one meal a day. Smaller dogs such as toy poodles and miniatures often do best with two or even three meals per day. Standards have a bit more tolerance to a single dinnertime feeding, however many can also benefit from having food split up into two servings. Several snacks can be given in between meals and this is particularly helpful as a poodle is a fast eater. How much to feed a poodle? Exact serving size varies quite a bit depending on the type of food. There is a big difference in calories between wet versus dry and low quality versus high quality. And, the amount of food that a poodle should be eating depends on the dog's age, activity level, individual metabolism, and health status. Even the weather can play a role since dogs tend to eat a bit more in the winter and a bit less in the summer. In regard to calorie requirements, puppies need more calories per pound than their adult counterparts, approximately 40 to 55 calories per pound, daily, compared to adult dogs that need about 35 to 45 calories per pound, daily. Senior poodles typically have slower metabolisms and reduced mobility and therefore usually require slightly fewer calories, in the 40 calorie per pound range. These numbers can vary up or down by 20%. If you are feeding your poodle a commercial food, follow the suggested feeding guidelines. These are usually pretty spot on. Since these are based on both age and weight, do not estimate how much your poodle weighs but rather know what this is within a pound or two. If you are feeding your poodle homemade food, a rough guideline for serving size is one ounce of food for each one pound of body weight, daily. As you can imagine, this can vary quite a bit depending on the exact ingredients. Using the one-to-one -one rule as a starting point, what your poodle consumes within 15 minutes is usually a good amount for each meal. Wet versus dry. If a poodle had their way, most would opt for wet food. However, dry food is recommended since this is much better for the gums and teeth. In addition, dry kibble tends to be easier on the stomach and intestines and a diet of all wet canned food can lead to runny stools. Grain versus grain free. Until relatively recently, there was not much debate on this subject. If a dog tended to have gastrointestinal or allergy issues when on a diet with grains, they were switched to a grain free recipe. However, this changed when it was discovered that several dogs that were breeds not prone to dilated cardiomyopathy developed that particular heart disease and also happened to be fed grain-free kibble. Lots of pet parents immediately thought that they needed to change their dogs back to grains, however, many more studies need to be done. In fact, the most recent update from the Veterinary Medical Center at Tufts University suggests that, grain-free, alone may not be the issue at play. 
Currently there are no recalls of grain-free dog food brands and the FDA is still investigating any possible links including the bag theory. If your poodle does not do well with any grains at all, you may wish to stick to a brand that has traditional meats like chicken, turkey, or beef or a fish-based recipes. And, if you are not sure about which grains your poodle may do okay with, you may wish to opt for wholesome non-wheat and non-gluten grains like rice, oatmeal, quinoa. Elements to keep in mind when choosing food for your poodle. It's no wonder that pet parents have a difficult time navigating the many choices of dog foods in their quest to find the best brand to give their poodle. There are a lot of ingredients to avoid. 1. Artificial flavoring like MSG which can cause terrible allergic reactions. 2. Artificial coloring. Some of the worst are yellow, red, blue, and yellow which are linked to very serious issues including neurological and behavioral issues like insomnia and hyperactivity and serious health issues including some cancers. 3. Chemical preservatives. This can be tricky to avoid since these do not always need to be labeled. If these are added to protect protein meals in low levels, you'll never see it listed as an ingredient. Ingestion of butylated hydroxyanisole, BHA, butylated hydroxytoluene, BHT, and tert butyl hydroquinone, TBHQ, is linked to some cancers and ethoxyquine and propylene glycol, PG, are known toxins. 4. Byproducts. These are meats and animal parts deemed unfit for human consumption. Examples are lungs, spleen, spinal tissue, genitals, hooves, beaks, intestines, and more. 5. Generic meats or oils. This can, by law, be any species of animal whatsoever and are usually 4D animal parts, sourced from dead, diseased, dying, or disabled zoo animals, farm animals, or even roadkill. 6. Fillers. These are very common in cheaper subpar brands and are inexpensive ingredients that are added only to plump up the food but offer little to no nutritional value. Examples of fillers include corn, soy, wheat middlings, peanut hulls, oat husks, and cereal grains. Ingestion of fillers is a contributing factor in coprophagia, eating feces, and is linked to malnutrition. 7. High grain count. Though some wholesome grains may be desired, high levels of wheat or gluten can cause upset stomach issues and allergies. Knowing what to avoid can help you identify some of the better brands. In general, what to look for. 1. 100% all-natural. This means zero artificial additives. 2. Natural preservatives. There are healthy ways to preserve food including using vitamin blends typically listed as mixed tocopherols and or certain herbs including mint and rosemary. 3. Wholesome ingredients. For meats and proteins this includes chicken, turkey, duck, lamb, rabbit, beef, and many types of fish including whitefish, haddock, salmon, and cod. You'll also want your poodle to have some vegetables and fruits which provide vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants. 4. Zero fillers. Every ingredient should serve the purpose of providing nutrients and never added simply to bulk up the recipe. 5. The right balance of healthy grains. Though some poodles will need to avoid all grains, most do very well with select non-wheat, non-gluten options including oatmeal, quinoa, and rice. 6. Added extras. Ideally, you will want your poodle's diet to provide glucosamine and chondroitin, omega fatty acids via salmon, salmon oil, and or flax seeds, and probiotics. What to feed your poodle if home cooking? You will want to have a mix of protein, healthy grains, vegetables and fruits. 1. Proteins can include beef, chicken, turkey, lamb, veal, and fish, cod, flounder, salmon, whitefish. 2. Vegetables can include sugar snap peas, green beans, lima beans, spinach, peas, zucchini, carrots, sweet potato, and regular potato. 3. Fruits can include blueberries, strawberries, raspberries, apple, and pear. 4. Extras can include eggs, salmon oil, extra virgin olive oil, certain cheese with low levels of lactose, Colby, Monterey Jack, Swiss cheese, and cottage cheese, and plain whole white yogurt. Note that if you home cook, 
you will want to include a daily vitamin and mineral since it is near impossible for any combination of foods to offer a dog every nutrient that they need. Do you want to have a well-behaved, obedient and calm pet dog without spending hours in training him? Check out the first link in the description and download the Secret Training Technique Guide absolutely free. It is available for free only for a limited period of time. Thanks for watching the video. Comment below if you liked the video. Please subscribe to the channel, Little Paws Training, if you are serious about training and grooming your dog. Also, join our Facebook group where you get all the solutions to your daily doggy problems.